so this is going to be the most unexpected let's play ever. Zombie Holiday, a game I released about 10 years ago. Actually, to be fair, I didn't actually release it. I released a small chunk of it, um, but the small chunk of it was actually quite a lot of work. Uh, deary me. Anyway, there is now an update for it, so if you have any type of Mac, I think it might even run on ancient PPC backs, but it's runs pretty damn smoothly on a modern Mac, to much to my surprise. So, yep. Let's have a little go at this. It's not going to be like a, a big, long, in-depth thing. I'll leave that for another video. But yeah. I tried to get this video up for, for Halloween, but I was feeling so crappy that it just didn't happen. But here goes. How about this? Is this running really slowly? It's okay. It could be worse. It could be much worse. Now, this game is full of secrets. Tons and tons of them. I probably ought to do a different video about those then. I have a funny feeling about this. If I go this way, I'll miss the intro and tutorial levels. Now, this guy is Francis. He's one of the main characters in a webcomic I occasionally update, but not really so much anymore. Shift to attack. Actually, I'm using an Xbox controller, but... Poop! Help and advice. I have left you notes along the way. Some may offer essential advice. Others explain your adversaries. Escape lab rats that live and multiply in the toxic waste around the city. They bite. Right. So, as I scroll, I can read it again by pressing the use button. Or I can... That's a cute little rat, but... And another one. Let's get going. Yeah, I kind of miss this. Most enemy fire can be stopped by well-timed punches. It's true. Uh, in terms of gameplay, I'd, I'm not even sure what I'd say it plays like. In terms of inspirations, some of the Castlevania games, a little bit of Shadow of the Beast, there is... there are branching paths. But on something so unfinished. Oh, it's such a shame. <laughs> the engine and editors I used to make this in don't work anymore. To make a, a, new, a new bug fix release, I had to run a virtual machine of an ancient version of Mac OS to get it to a run, but it, it's okay. Right, I'm purposely not getting all the secret stuff, because this is not a in-depth playthrough. I'm looking through this treehouse here. There's the inexplicably meowing key. I suppose I could have fixed that, but... Oh, well. Now, these backgrounds. That's one of the things I would definitely have changed. What crazy per sort of crazy person makes a level out of one giant like five layer PSD. It's absolutely humongous. Um, oops. <laughs> Ow, frog. Stupid frog. That was... Restart activated. Oh, those are one of the things I would definitely fix if I could be bothered. Those bubbles. Ugh. Wait, hang on. Xbox pad is really weirding me out. That's me getting confused. Eh? Jump properly. Uh, I'm having some sort of issues here with the pad. I'm better. What was that about? Punch them frogs. Zombie, zombie. Wee. Some extra health. Right, I suppose I could look at some things. A nut tree grows right through the roof. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Shame. It's a nice tree there. 
some more trees, some little, little froggy guys everywhere. Yeah, this is. <laughs> the D pad on Xbox controllers is terrible. Yep, I'll just blame blame it on something else. Right, I'm going back down there. There's a note by the box. Boom cakes, lots of love. M again, grenade. Uh, bats. Did that bat just kill that frog? I've never seen that before. Do 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 do. Punch. And well, the good thing about making something like this is you do sort of glow. Ugh. Ugh. Over the bridge. Brought back to life by some evil force. Not me. The zombies are shriveled and decaying. Bang, bang, bang. How cute. She wants to come with me, no problem. I wonder if I can find somewhere safe for her. For a squirrel. Hmm. No, I'm not going to do that. As I near the graveyard, it's like the ground is opening up for all the ancient dead. Again. All these things, they mean something. But I'm not here to do everything. I'm just here to get through this strange demo. Oh yeah, there are what I can't <laughs> I can't even remember how many levels. No, I don't actually want to use grenade. Wait. Grenade punch, grenade punch. Boink. All these little shiny things. If I was playing it properly, I would look at them all. There are hidden things for people who find extra stuff. Ow! Good! Stupid controller, I'd be better off using the keyboard. The reason I say that, it doesn't actually have proper controller support because the engine did not have controller support so I've just sort of botched it together using third party software. Oh well. This way. turning back now, but there is another way. Yes, there is. You okay? <laughs> I'm going down. Go on, stop falling. Here we go. Now we have a boss chamber. Yeah, these are interesting, aren't they? They seem to make big Dangerous rocks fall from above. That's important in a moment. <laughs> Why is that? Because oh, I'm using the wrong button. Now, rocks. Rocks for the boss. Badly animated frogs. Yeah. Ow, a rock in my face. Yeah. Got him. Lots of extra health. Possibly more than I need. <laughs> now I'm gonna. There's only one tiny little level after this. Unless you go a different path. In which case, there's actually a whole extra bit. It's 
really funny. Those loading screens used to stay on screen for ages. Now they don't. Because computers are a lot faster now than they were <laughs> 10 years ago. Have to be careful. Grenade. Or throw grenades up the steps. And yeah, I know those look like cakes, those grenades. There is reasons for that. <laughs> Now I'm not going to spoil the end until a different video. I hope you've enjoyed this weird little blast from an alternate past. Okay, I hope you found that vaguely interesting. If you have a map and you'd like to give it a try, I can't necessarily promise it'll work. It might not work at all. Like to try and find the secret stuff yourself? Please do. No, I, I really liked this idea, and if there was a way of me easily continuing in some way, I would. I am working on taking the lessons I've learned from making this all those years ago and applying them to very different things. So I've included um, a download link if anyone wants to try it. See you next time. I also plan on putting up just some straight gameplay footage without me yammering on on top. I might even try doing a speedrun as hilarious as that would be. I don't think anyone's ever going to have done that before. And I'll finally do a video showing what happens if you do find all the secrets, because not everyone can play this.